In the previous video, we talked about the average speed and velocity. So today, we're going to talk about what it means to find the speed and velocity of an object at a specific moment in time. The instantaneous speed is defined as the speed of an object at a specific moment in time. The instantaneous velocity is defined as the velocity of an object at a specific moment in time. Let me explain further. Let's say I ran a thousand meters home in 200 seconds because you heard your mother was making those delicious homemade cookies you love. In the previous video, we learned how to solve for our average speed by dividing our distance with the change in time. We also learned how to solve for our average velocity by dividing our displacement with the change in time. And if we solve for our average speed and our average velocity, we would get 5 meters per second. However, this does not necessarily mean we kept an, a, constant, a constant speed and a constant velocity of 5 meters per second. On the board, you see that we initially started running at 5 meters per second, then we increased our speed to 10 meters per second, then we decreased our speed to 2 meters per second. These values represent our instantaneous speeds and our instantaneous velocities at those specific moments in time. And even though our initial speed matched our average speed and our average velocity, it does not necessarily mean our average speed and our average velocity will equal our instantaneous speed and our instantaneous velocity. Here are a few ways we can find our instantaneous speed and our instantaneous velocity. If an object maintains a constant speed and a constant velocity, then the instantaneous speed and the instantaneous velocity will equal our average speed and our average velocity. For instance, if our walker walked 2 meters per second constantly, that means the instantaneous speed and the instantaneous velocity of the walker will be 2 meters per second as well, because at each given moment in time, the walker's speed is 2 meters per second. If our object's velocity was changing, then we can use the kinematic formulas to solve for our instantaneous speed and our instantaneous velocity. We haven't covered kinematic formulas, but I'll do that in a later video. And for those who are in calculus applied physics, if you're given a function of an object's position, then you can take the derivative and it'll give you the instantaneous speed and the instantaneous velocity at that specific moment in time. So in recap, the instantaneous speed is the speed of an object at a specific moment in time. The instantaneous velocity is the velocity of an object at a specific moment in time. Thank you for watching this video and hope to see you next time.